Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Now today we are going to be talking about the Vancouver Titans in the Overwatch League Power Rankings series, I guess. So, this roster doesn't look that good um, on paper, because it is true, it is a wank team, it is a shit team. Let's just say with that, because I don't have any faith in this roster, if so, um, help me. So, Let's talk about the DPSs first. Now, in the DPSs, they made a couple changes. They obviously got rid of Shockwave and Suna. They both went to a, an Overwatch League team. Two of them, basically. Philly and Paris. They got Dalton, but they added Linkser and Teru. Linkser, great addition, in my opinion. I'm really happy that they did add um, Linkser in, because he's definitely a, an old-school player and would will, and will be... Large, like greatly, greatly missed in uh, in uh, the league. So I'm really happy that he's back. The one I'm very confused about is Teru. I don't really get why he's in here, but I guess he is in here just because it's confusing. I'm just confused why they added Teru. I just saying, I just thought like maybe another, like maybe they could have gotten another support like hey okay, you know what let's have a look okay? let's have a look at western like like yeah western support players that they could have gotten okay here we are so let's mainly look about okay so let's mainly look at north america and yes yeah, say oh god doesn't look that good <laughs> it really 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 doesn't look that good so if we just have a look here and we say, okay, well, let's just, okay, so who's, like, a good, a good player? Yes, I added the LA Valley in 20th, leave me alone. It was, like, a good player that they can probably get for a flex support, because I, like, maybe, you could have got, I think, six feet, I think six feet is a main support. Yeah, he's a support player, but I don't, I, I don't think he really has a lot of, talent if I'm uh, um, sorry about that but I'm just being a little bit it's a little bit true I'll be honest um so let's have just have a look yeah something like a whole lot like Aspen maybe like maybe Aspen Aspire I, 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 it's actually, I think Aspire is actually DPS he is I wish you could actually filter this and say like only um like support players I'd I don't know if you can, I don't think so. It's just like, you know, just keep looking because I just think they could have, like, I wish Darkman, I, to be honest, I wish Darkman was in there. Sadly not, like, maybe Elk. Elk, probably. Like, he could, like, he could probably be, um, just in, like, in, in Vancouver, maybe. I don't really know. Um, other ones probably include, let me just have a look, but. Like, maybe Halo, if I really, if you really want to get a Halo. Like, you can probably just grab it. I think Iced is a... I don't actually know. I think Iced is an, is an alpha tank. So, I'm going to be... <laughs> I need to think, actually, who is a support and who's not a support, because it would be very, very tough for me. But, just... I just think there could have been more options to really get a support player. Other than, like, you could have got to fucking OJ. Even though he turns 18 in September, you could have easily gotten him. Come on, guys, just. Okay, this is actually better. Um, but I kind of. Okay, well, this is a bit weird. Is it Dak, maybe? Burnt Log? Mm, I don't really know. It, like, I, I, all I want to say is that there could have been. Better players that you could have gotten than Teru in DPS. I think you could have gotten a support because I think, in my opinion, support is the weakest in this roster. But speaking of that, let's go to the supports. So they get rid of Karkar, who was actually a pretty good main, who was actually a pretty good main support, um, and, also, and, also, and also a great shot caller. Uh, sadly, he did retire. I think to focus on schooling, if I remember correctly, at least a good luck to him. They replaced him with Fire. One word to describe fire, mediocre. I don't have any faith in fire, I'm sorry, fire, but I don't have any faith because I just think he's a bit inconsistent. I mean a bit, I mean a lot inconsistent. He's he's very inconsistent. Rolf, he's 
pretty good, in my opinion. He's a pretty good support player, but I'm just like, eh, I don't know. Just, I don't know. So, in tank, they obviously got rid of KSAA, where our, our hearts were broken because we couldn't see KSAA, the god himself. He was, he was actually at least a very solid off tank. If I mean, he was very, very good. Just, yeah. But they got Fried Wiener. Also known as Fried. But they got Fried Wiener. And it's a pr it's a, they're kind of the same. If I, I mean, I'll be completely honest. They're, kind, they're very, very similar. Um, but, um, uh, I guess, yeah. Like, he's not that bad. He's possibly, <laughs> I'll be honest, if Link's up wasn't there, I think Fried Wiener would have been the best player in, in this roster. In the next probably Dalton. But, yeah, I guess. Def like, I think KSA and Fried Wiener are definitely on the same page on consistency and play style. When, yeah, even though I think Fried Wiener is probably more aggressive than KSA. Even though KSA was lagging most of the time in his matches, so it kind of makes sense. But... I'm glad Fine Wiener has found a home in um, in the Overwatch League. So we're enough with all the roster, which looks just looks weird. Let's go to the coaches, which they haven't even changed anything other than get rid of Wheats, who's the assistant coach. So they got Flubby and Pew still in the roster. Still nothing's changed, and I think they should have gotten maybe another coach. Another assistant coach would be great, but they didn't, sadly. I'm very, very sad about that. So I think they, like, <laughs> they really wanted, they could have just gotten Jane. I don't know why you would get that, but yeah. Um, and like, maybe like, like other coaches as well, but I just, like, two coaches is very, very little. And I don't have, mm, it's going to be very, very tough for Vancouver to really come across this and say that this is great and like this is good. It's not good. I think they should have, like, I think MM, in a minimum, I think you should have three coaches, not two coaches, because I think that's just too little. Three coaches, I think, and three or four is like the sweet spot. Having two coaches is just nah, man. I think they were, in, I think they were in kind of a, of a tight budget. Sure, they have like 950k. What am I on? Uh, but yeah, I just it's gonna be very tough for Vancouver to actually really succeed in this, um, in in Overwatch. Speak of that, let's go to the power rankings. And, oh boy, they aren't looking that good. Let's just say, they are definitely a bottom team in the NA region. I don't even have any trust in the team because of just how shit they are. So, let's just say that they are around the 12th to 10th region. Let's just say that. Because I feel like there are possibly worse teams than Vancouver. Um, but I I think... Actually, no. There are two teams. Okay? There are two teams that can be lost. And there is either Paris or Vancouver. But if we have a look at the roster of Vancouver, it doesn't look that bad. Paris, however, looks a bit weird and inconsistent. Let's just say that. I just think, I think Paris' roster is a bit inconsistent. And, uh, and I'll be going more in depth than that when I go to the Paris one. But par but currently, I, mm, you, you, you know what? There's going to be a lot of changes in this region. I'm going to keep Vancouver in 11th place where they are currently. There, and... I uh, in this rankings here in, on the right, I think they're gonna be bottom. Not the worst, I'll be honest. Not really the worst, but now I'm gonna put them 18th. I don't have any, I don't, I don't have a lot of faith in this roster, and I feel like this roster is probably gonna blow and just crap itself. It's just nah. I don't see the, this roster doing that well. And considering that they added a Korean who probably doesn't speak any English, they don't even have a translator, and I think they're probably going to flop. 
But don't worry, the DPS lineup is going to be Dalton Linkser, Rolf Fire, Shredlock, Fried Wiener. And it's going to be no changes at all, even though I think Dalton Linkser played the exact same heroes. And Tiru is the only player here who can actually play projectile in a high standard level. And Tiru can't even speak English, I don't think. I don't know if he can, but I don't think he can speak any English, which is a, which is massive for Vancouver. That's gonna be that's gonna be really really bad for them. Anyways, uh, I think the next one is gonna be London, and that's actually when I'm going to be joined by my by a friend of mine who's a fan of London Spitfire. Um, but until then, goodbye.